Hey guys, Kieran Boll here, and today I'm going to be showing my IFB 102 for Raspberry Pi project. So, here is a timestamp for authenticity, and there is the date. This is my Raspberry Pi. This is the breadboard. It's plugged into my monitor via HDMI, and there's a keyboard plugged into it, and my brother's going to be typing on it. Um, so, press, uh, typed in run, uh, sh run sh, and I'm pressing enter. And this is going to start up the breadboard controller. So you can see a little blink layer, blink, blinky light is on there, a little green light. If you want to type in on there, press the buttons, you can see that they uh, type keyboard strokes. Yeah, okay. Just press enter to clear that away. Um, so we're going to try and run the Super Nintendo system. Press enter, and it'll say that we don't have any ROMs. So what we need to do is upload some ROMs, and we can do that via the Apache web server that's on here. We're going to browse Super Mario World. It also shows the uh, current uh, statistics. We're going to upload Super Mario World. File is uploaded, and there's a little LED light blinking on there to say it's been uploaded. So now we can run it on here. So we're going to go zero for Super Mario World, and zero again to start it up. And if you want to just it <laughs> yeah so let's start up and as you can see the controls are completely done by input yeah. so yeah you can Mario can jump and get killed and all that good stuff <laughs> um, so if you press start and select we can exit out of the emulator you got to hold it. There we go. And what we're going to do now is upload a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog to the Sega Mega Drive. Press upload. The light's going to blink again. Now we're going to press one, and you can load up Sonic, and it'll uh, blink on and off. And Sega, yay! Excellent. The power of the Raspberry Pi. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, keyboard's currently not mapped up to Sonic, um, so it doesn't really do much for that, but can easily map it up eventually. <laughs> yeah, that's just the demo. Anyway, thanks for watching.